What's up Planet Roller Skaters, and DJ Emma Jones here, and today I am driving across Texas with my good friend Jen. Hi. And today's episode, we are going to teach you all about how and when to change your toe stops. today because yesterday I filmed an episode outside and completely failed. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to teach you how to change your toe stops. So it was way too windy, um, but today we are traveling, but I didn't want to give up on posting an episode this week, so I decided that I'm just going to film while we're in the car. Before we get going though, I just want you guys to know that anything you see in this video you can get on planetrollerskate.shop and uh, we pretty much have everything you need from helmet to toe stop. <laughs> toe stops, what is a toe stop? Let me show you. Okay, so down here I have my giant later skater tote bag. This thing has been great. And I brought a few examples of skates for you guys. Let's start with this one. This is a toe stop. I'm sorry, my nails are super gross, y'all. Just gonna have to deal with it. But this is a toe stop right here. So there are a few different kinds of toe stops. This one is a bolt-on because as you can see, there's a bolt that goes right through the middle and it's adjusted by using a screwdriver. So that's a bolt-on toe stop. This black skate right here, it doesn't have the wheels on it, but just for the toe stop example. As you can see, this one is held on with a nut and a washer. And this is what's called an adjustable toe stop because we can actually move this out and change the length of the toe stop. So you can like adjust how far out it is from the skate and how close it is to the ground. So this is an adjustable that uses a nut and a washer. Then I also have this skate, which is mine. And this one also has an adjustable toe stop, but you can see there's no nut or washer here. So the way that you tighten it is actually with this little screw that goes through. So to be able to adjust this one, you're gonna need an Allen wrench. Um, so when is it time to change your toe stop? This is one of the questions I get pretty frequently. Um, so let's take a look at this for example. So right now you can see that the toe stop is worn down on one side, but it's actually gonna last a lot longer because all I have to do is rotate this stopper for it to keep working. Um, also, sometimes if you have a dominant foot, one toe stop will wear down way faster than the other, and all you have to do is switch them. You can keep moving that toe stop and adjusting it until it's worn down evenly on all the sides. Once you've moved your stop around as much as you can and it's worn down on all sides, you know it's time to change it when it starts hitting the metal. So I just posted a story asking people to send me examples of their really, really worn down toe stops. So this is what it looks like when it's time to change your stopper. <laughs> Some people might prefer to keep their stoppers big, so they might want to change them sooner. But if you're like me and you're trying to save as much money as possible and not purchase products all the time, then you can really let your stoppers go for a long time, especially if they're adjustable. Because if they're adjustable, as they get worn down, you can screw them out and move them closer to the ground. With the bolt-on toe stops though, you can't really adjust the height, so if you've used your toe stop too much and you don't like how, how low your stopper is, then you might wanna actually change your bolt-ons before they get all the way to the metal. But the nice thing about toe stops is they're really affordable and they're one of the things that is easiest to replace on your skate. So now I'm going to show you how to change this guy, which is the adjustable toe stop that has the nut and the washer. 
So this kind of toe stop is like one of the most common, especially for your mid-range recreational skates. So like the Moxie Lolly uses the nut in the washer, this Fame Skate uses it, a lot of nylon plates use this. Um, it's a pretty standard setup. So I'm gonna pull out my Y3, which is this guy. And it comes with this little wrench right here on the end that is the perfect size for almost every stop that comes like this. It's also really handy because of the shape. I can really get on top and put my weight into it and use that leverage to really tighten my skate. Or if it's too tight and I really need to loosen it, I can use my body weight and get that leverage going. So I'm gonna loosen this guy. I wish you could see right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, Whew, just a little bit. And we got it loose. So gonna unscrew this so here's the secret is if you're ever skating and you hear this sound that's your toe stop loose and if you're hearing that sound it means that your toe stop could potentially come unscrewed and fall off so if you ever hear the jingling you need to stop immediately and tighten your skate so pretty much if I'm gonna change out my skate completely or my stopper completely all I do is I unscrew this all the way Make sure you hold onto your washer right here because it's gonna fall off, I have my washer. And then I'm gonna take this nut off. We're going to pretend that I got a new toe stop. So, <laughs> hey look, new toe stop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the nut down to the part. So say I want my toe stop to stick out not far at all, I'm gonna put my nut all the way down if I want it all the way up next to the plate. So that means when I screw this in, this part's gonna be touching. But if I want to put my toe stop out far, I'm gonna put the nut closer to the top. Then all I do is I have my washer here and I have the cone, I place it down just like this. Let me get a close up for you. I am going to actually put my washer, see how it's a cone shape? So it's going to go with the cone part down onto the plate. And then all I'm going to do is screw in. I need two hands. And then all I have to do is screw in my toe stop until I get to the point where I want it to stay. And I can tighten it as much as I can with my hand. But ultimately you're going to want to get this wrench, get on top and put your body weight into it and really tighten it. So I'm just gonna lean into it a little bit. And there we go. If you don't tighten it with the wrench, it might feel really tight with your hand, but if you don't tighten up down that nut with your wrench, there's a good chance that it will start jingling and eventually fall off. So especially with this kind of toe stop, you wanna really make it as tight as you can. So for the bolt-on toe stop, the kind of screwdriver you'll need depends on the skate. So all you have to do is look in the end right here and see what kind of screwdriver you need. In this case, it looks like a Phillips head. Yeah, so I'm going to pull out my screwdriver and put on the right top. Yeah, pull straight out, yeah, there you go. Oh, hey, all right. So, I'm gonna get the Phillips head. I'm just gonna put that in my screwdriver here. Put this back here. I'm a professional at this, y'all. I can use tools. All right, so then all I gotta do is put my screwdriver in here again. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I'm gonna turn left to get it loose. And this guy just comes, there we go. Right unscrewed. And of course, be careful when you take it off that you don't lose that screw. Ah, so there we go. And this is the part that's holding it in the skate. All I do is pop this out. Oh, this one's actually a little tight, so I might need to kind of pry it out there. So this one's been gunked up for a minute. Ah, there we go, okay, got the screw. All right, so then I'm going to pretend this is a new toe stop. Tra la la, a new toe stop. And all I have to do is put my screw right through there. Kind of push it through here because it's a little bit stuck. Awesome. And I'm gonna put it in right here. I'm just gonna tighten it right back down. So with the bolt-on toe stops, you can't really adjust the length. The only thing you can do is buy new stops and once they wear down, um, replace them. So I'm just gonna tighten it and there we go. Thumbnail. And that's how you change the bolt-on toe stop. 
pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, what kinds of toe stops do I like? Well, since I have metal plates on these skates, I like to use the Kaya um, toe stops. And I like the short stem because I'm a park skater. I like them to be close to the plate, like I said. But I like the Kayas because they're really dense. And when I do a lot of hill bombing, they last a lot longer than some other softer toe stops. Um, people that are playing roller derby, I know like the super stoppers and the gumballs are pretty popular. But for me, taking those outside on really rough concrete, they wear down really fast. So that has a lot to do with what kind of stopper you're looking for, is the discipline that you're doing and then also the surface that you are stopping on. But for me, I recommend the Kaya for the adjustable stop. And then for the bolt-on stop, like this one, I recommend the Sure Grip because they come in really cute colors and they really get the job done. It's just a nice, simple bolt-on stopper. They've been around for years. So you can find those all on our site. And yeah. Toe stopping is fun. Oh look, there's Juniper! Hey girl! <laughs> She's awake. I think that's everything, y'all. You know what? And I really actually enjoy doing this in the car because I feel like 95% of the time when I'm actually changing my toe stops, I'm on the way somewhere. And I'm like, oh no, I don't have toe stops and I'm like going to the skate park meetup. I need to change them right now. So this is actually a pretty, pretty practical uh, tutorial here. <laughs> Very realistic conditions. Yeah, realistic conditions. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Planet Roller Skate. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit up planetrollerskate.shop for everything you need from helmet to toe stop. And in the comments below, let me know what kind of stopper you prefer and the height that you like to put it at because I think everybody will get a lot of um, help from sharing that info because there's just a lot of different preferences and I think it'll be really cool to see what you like and for other people to maybe try something new out. So again, thank you guys so much and until next time, later, later skaters! skaters.